crazy big money? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to knock your socks off. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is what I like to call a Bolo category video. What is that? That is where I talk about a category and I teach about Bolo items in that category. This category video is about puppets. Puppets. Did you know that some puppets can go for crazy big money? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to knock your socks off. Let me know down in the comments where your socks landed at the end of the video, okay? Because they're going to land somewhere because these are crazy. All right, let's start with the first one here. When I do my Bolo category videos, I like to try to verify them either by going in and looking at feedback or seeing if the item was relisted. And we'll talk about that more as we go along. I'm also going to show you a way to research what the item actually sold for if a best offer was accepted. All right. I'm also going to show you a way to see what the item sold for if a best offer was accepted. So stay tuned for that as well. This first item, one puppet brand that I always look for is Folkmanis. Now, Folkmanis ranges from bread and butter to big money. But if I see Folk Monis right here, I pick it up no matter what, as long as it's not like priced too crazy. This is what um, the tag looks like. Tags are going to vary. This one is a Folk Tales by Folk Monis. I've never seen one of these. It is a um, Venus flytrap. How funny is that? Sold for $80 plus shipping. This is a Folk Monis and this video is not all Folk Monis. I actually did the other ones first and then went back and pulled Folk Monis for you guys because I love finding Folk Monis. This is also a Folk Tales. It's a 20 inch plush puppet. It's really big. And this guy sold for $127.50 plus shipping on auction, eBay auction. This guy, oh my goodness, Folk Monis. Disney Goofy Puppet, three foot tall, discontinued, sold for $550. Look at him sitting in the chair. He's just hanging out. How cool is that? Now, there is also Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy that all sell for big money that are Folk Monis. So be on the lookout for those Disney Folk Monis characters. This is a vintage Mimic Dally hand puppet Stife dog. If you guys are not familiar with Stife, you definitely want to get familiar with it. It will typically have a tag in its ear that says Stife. Um, I've never seen this little hand puppet, but it sold for $168 plus shipping. This is a vintage elephant, pink elephant puppet from 1993. It is Polar Puff 24K Special effects play talking. I'm not sure what all that means. Um, that's what it says on the tag. Um, I think all of them say special effects. I've actually listed a couple of these 24K uh, plush. So far, none of mine have sold, but this one is a puppet. So I think that's why it sold. Um, I could not verify that it, with any feedback or anything like that, but I did look and it had not been relisted. $169.99 on this one plus shipping. Check out these Power Rangers. These are little puppets. Um, it says 118. There's not a, oh, look. Wow. That's a lot of puppets. Um, $190 for these. Have you guys ever seen these before? I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. Now, I don't know if they sell like if some of them are more rare than others, definitely look them up if you see them. Maybe smaller lots, they could have gotten more money, but 190 bucks with free shipping on those. This is a Pizza Time Theater Chuck E. Cheese. This is another one that I kept seeing over and over and over again. The Pizza Time Puppets. If you see them, look them up. This is what the tag looks like. 
So these are Chuck E. Cheese toys, it sounds like. And this one sold for $199.95 plus shipping. This is a 1970s Remco Dr. Blinky HR Puffin Stuff TV show hand puppet. Check that out. I think that might be vinyl on the bottom. Kind of looks like it. Here's the tag. $224.88. Sid and Marty Croft Productions. Made in Japan. I'll tell you what. I would have picked that up in a second. That is super cool. And you can see right here that it sold for $210. So that was a good sale. This is a 1987 My Pet Monster Yiplet hand puppet stuffed animal with handcuffs. My Pet Monster is a bolo in general. There are other My Pet Monsters that go for big money. I didn't even know that they had a puppet. So this one is new to me. So I'm guessing that most of you that know about My Pet Monster probably would have picked this up just because you know about My Pet Monster. But did you know they made a puppet? This is by Amtoy. It sold for $249.99 plus shipping. This is a vintage Dick Tracy pull string moving mouth ventriloquist puppet doll figure. So this one is not a stuffed animal. This one's a little different, but I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. $274 free shipping. Vintage 1976 Sesame Street Betty Lou Girl Vikma or Vikma Spain puppet, Henson Muppets, 355 for her. And look at the condition. She is in fantastic condition. Wow. $355 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage grizzly poodle puppet. It is mohair. Mohair is usually a bolo. If you find um, a toy that's plush that is mohair, definitely look it up and probably you should probably pick it up. This sold for $129.50 plus shipping. This is another rare Stife Snakey Snake hand puppet. Vintage made in Germany with the tag. Let me just show you here. This is where I think a white background would come in handy, but it still sold for $175. And there is your Stife tag right there on the inside. So you might have missed that if you didn't look. So definitely a good tip right there. This is a vintage Hannah Barbara. Nope. I always want to say Hannah Barbara. Is it Bar Barbara? Oh, I can't remember. Hannah Barbara. <laughs> I always said Barbara, Hannah Barbara. I always thought I was right. I wasn't. And I'm still saying it wrong, probably. It's the Jetsons. Astro the dog hand puppet with a rubber head. Sold for $132.49 plus shipping. These are the Sesame Street set of six hand puppets from the 70s selling as a set only. And it's got this with it. How cool is that? That is a cool bolo. I probably would have listed that higher. Um, $200 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1966 Green Hornet vinyl hand puppet. So again, it's got the head that is, I don't know, rubber or plastic. And then the bottom is vinyl. Very, very cool. Bolo. If you see these, pick them up. I've seen a bunch of them that are going for big money. $266, 23 bids plus shipping. Here's a fun one. 1968 Hasbro Kooky Spooky Ghost fig Finger Puppet. Glow in the dark. Toy Tina Terror. You guys, if you see these, Pick them up. Uh, there are a bunch of them that go for big money. They are harder to find and they don't have to be in perfect condition to still go for big bucks. This one right here sold for $330 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1994 Hammerhead Shark hand puppet. Streetwise Designs. Used, uh, it says pictures three plus. I don't know why they put that, but here it is. $375 plus shipping. Here is a vintage mohair dog puppet. So again, another um, item that is mohair. Would you look at this and think that it was big money? You probably wouldn't. This guy sold for $488 plus shipping with 10 bids on auction. 
And you can see right here, it was a good sale. Let's look at this one. This is a Stife Mohair Wolf. It sold for $39.99, which is pretty low. Um, auction may not have been the best idea for this one because some of those other mohair, mohair and Stife, oh, this should have went for over 100 I would think. My goodness. So I think that one, the tag is missing, the yellow part there. But still, wow. Yeah, price. I start my auctions high for this reason. So I could be wrong. I didn't look up comps on it. So vintage 1966 Kermit the Fanciful Frog puppet by Ideal Toys. $1,027 with six bids. Are you kidding me? Check it out. Can you believe it? Let's see what they started the auction at. $499.99. So they knew it was good, but it sold for over a thousand dollars. Here's another one. This is the is it pokey or pooky? Pokey pooky. I don't know. Little puppy plush hand puppet, golden story books by Gund. 85 bucks for this little cutie. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. $85 right there. Incredible, right? And you can see right here. I'm sorry. Looks like they took a best offer of 75. Pizza time. Here's another pizza time guy. All right. So it says 500 and it's slashed through, says Mr. Munch. So let me tell you here. If you see a line that, and it is marked through, you should probably take this title and copy and paste it over on Terapeak and uh, put it in the title, hit research. They took a best offer of a hundred bucks on this. So you're seeing this and thinking, oh, I bet it sold for like 400. Nope. They took a hundred bucks on that. So be careful when you're searching solds. Here's another vintage 1966 Green Hornet vinyl hand puppet with the original box sold for $1,325 plus shipping, 27 bids. They started this auction at $99.99 and it went up to $1,325. Seven unique bidders and 27 total bids. This is another one. This one went for $99.99 and it does not have the original box. And it is another Green Hornet 1966. And you can see right here that it was also a good sale. And it was also the same seller as the one that went for $13.25. So both of these were good sales with feedback. This is a vintage, hard to find, very rare Sesame Street puppet, Harry Child Horizons. And that's what the tag looks like. And he's kind of in rough condition, if you ask me. Um this one ended up selling for a best offer of $250. Again, I took the title, I copied and pasted it over on Terapeak and was able to pull up what it sold for. These I just thought were incredibly interesting. Antique vintage hand puppet, big nose set rare. Um, I'm guessing these are artisan made, one of a kind. Um, would have been probably good keywords to put in the title. It's got a messed up broken finger. They're probably maybe paper mache. Not 100% sure, but definitely some good keywords missing from the title. Sure looks like paper mache to me. So that would have been good to have in the title. One of a kind, O-O-A-K, um, handmade, artisan, different things you can put. These ended up selling for a best offer of $200. So even though the keywords were not amazing, they still got found. I absolutely love this. These are vintage tub buddies, hand puppet dinosaurs, a set of four. Uh, they're vintage. They're little hand towels that go in the bathtub. Puppets with condition issues. And they sold for $135 plus shipping. All right, you guys, what did you think about that? Oh, pretty crazy, right? Some of these puppets went for over $1,000. Absolutely crazy. Lots that I didn't know about. Again, I always pick up Folkmanis. That was one I did know about. 
but um, many that I didn't. So I hope you guys learned something. Check out my other Bolo category videos. I have a whole playlist. Um, it's basically where I pick a category and I do a deep dive research and I share it with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Um, check out the description of the video for different links of things that I use and how you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and all those things. Um, my link tree is down below. So check that out. All right, you guys, thank you so much. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.